Can I talk about why we don't have plasma weapons yet? Well, the short answer is we do. Or I mean, at least we have plasma technology. Check it out. Plasma torch. I'm sure if you shoved that in someone's face, it would be considered a weapon. If your question, however, is why don't we have plasma projectiles, well, that's just thermodynamics. Plasma is a very high energy state, and that energy wants to radiate off. So if you were to hurl plasma at someone, even if that plasma was very energetic, it would radiate off in a matter of seconds. It's also worth noting that the more energy you put into a state of matter, the less solid it becomes. Like, asking why we don't have plasma projectiles is a lot like asking why we don't have water or air projectiles. And the short answer is, we do. But the long answer is, it's just kind of more effective to throw a high-speed piece of metal at someone. Like, the amount of work you would have to do to make a liquid or gaseous or plasma projectile weapon work would give you a very low return on extra damage compared to just throwing a metal slug at someone. And if your question is, why don't we have, like, lightsabers? Well, again, the short answer is we do. Several engineers on YouTube have made essentially working lightsabers. They cut through metal and everything. But they expend a huge amount of energy. They're a huge threat to the person wielding them. And in the end, you're investing all this money and energy and complex equipment into a weapon that isn't doing that much more damage than just a sharpened metal edge. Like, plasma weapons look cool, but they don't actually confer that many advantages. Like, even if you were in space having, like, a starship-to-starship -starship battle, like, I could conceive of a way to fire a plasma bolt from one ship to another without radiating off all its energy. And, like, you'd still do way more damage just by flinging a high-speed chunk of metal at the other ship. That's why in sci-fi you usually see this notion of shields. Some kind of energy barrier that ends up deflecting kinetic projectiles. And the general idea is that plasma projectiles would end up doing more damage to those shields. So, the state of combat changed to favor plasma projectiles. But that also doesn't really work. Like, whether you're deflecting energy from a metal projectile or deflecting heat energy from a uh, bolt of plasma, energy is energy. Sure, there's extra types of energy, but there's no particular reason why a field that is strong enough to deflect projectiles wouldn't be strong enough or advanced enough to deflect away heat radiation. And so we suspend our disbelief and we say plasma weapons are cool. But in reality, in like our actual world, scientifically, they're just not as effective as high-speed pieces of metal. Sorry to burst your bubble.